Hello, Professor Candido here with another sample I put together to help um, promote understanding of Python data types and arithmetic operators. So notice right here, I have a variable called n answer. I'm not putting an f or an i, f for float or i for integer. I'm just doing n for numeric or number because as you see with the samples I'm going to do, uh, n answer can change the Data type will become a float if the answer is a float, or it will become an int if the answer is an int. So right here I'm taking 9, doing float division 2. So what do you think the answer will be? What will we put into an answer? And notice the code here. I'm writing out to the screen what the answer is, and I'm telling you what the data type is of an answer once it is done. So let's run it, and let's see what we come up with. And if you came up with 4.5... 9 divided by 2 using float gives us 4.5. Then you did a good job. Now I've added these lines of code where I'm doing the same kind of division. I'm doing 9 inter division. Notice it's double slashes, double forward slashes. Because this is an int and this is an int and I'm doing integer division, what do you think is going to be put into an answer? Let's run it. And I left the other... Um, previous example there so you can grow your understanding and if you notice you get a 4 because we drop on this division here we drop the 0.5 and the answer and answers data type changes from a float to an int now I added multiplication with two integers an int times an int goes into an answer I'm asking you what do you think an answer contains and what type of data is uh, data type is an answer. Oh, I also should go over um, type is a function, just like print, built into Python that will tell you what data type is that particular variable after the calculation. So let's run it. And you notice that we get 18 with no decimal position, and it is an integer. Okay, I've added another calculation where I take 9, which is a integer if you guessed it. Good job. And what is 2.0? And that is a float. What happens when I mix an integer with a float? What is the value of n answer and what data type does n answer become? Well, let's run it. I'm lock your answers in now. And if you came up, I'm going to make the window a little bigger so you can see how it fits on one screen. There you go. Right here. It says uh, when you mix one int with one float, you get 18.0, and n, n answer becomes a float. Okay, here is another example. I take a float, 9.0, and multiply it by another float, 2.0. What gets put into n answer? Lock in your results now. And notice um, when we output, we say print. This string goes out. Then it gets a space. That's what the comma does. It gives you the value of n answer based off this calculation, and it tells you the result data type is, and we call the type function to let us know. Let's see. And if you said 18.0 and the data type is a float, you were correct. Because remember, when you mix two floats, you get a float. Okay, I got another one for you. Notice I take 9.0, multiply it by 2.0, two floats. But the result, after it's calculated, is converted to an int and put into an answer. So what do you think the value of an answer is? And what do you think the data type of an answer is after this calculation? Let's run our code, and we will find out. Notice the answer is 18 right here. And the resulting data type is an int. Because remember, 18.0 is converted to an integer, and we lose the point zero. I'm not quite done yet. Now notice what I'm doing here. I have a float, 9.0, doing integer division with another float, 2.0. Remember, integer division drops the decimal point and puts the answer into here. Or does it? Let's go find out. Notice we get the answer of 4.0. Yes, it drops the decimal point 0.5, but it keeps the answer a float because even though I'm doing integer division, a float divided by the float gives you a float. It's just it gets rid of the decimal value, 0.5. 4.5 becomes 4.0. I got two more for you, and here is the second to last one. We're going to do integer division, mixing a one float with one int. 
This is the int, integer division 2.0. What do you think the answer n answer will become, the value? And what will be the data type of n answer? Let's run it. Let's save it. And notice we get 4.0 still, just like in the previous example. And the data type is float. Why is that? Integer 9 gets converted to be a float. Then it divides it by 2.0 which is a float, it makes, uh, Python takes this and makes it a float because this is a float. We do enter to division and we drop the decimal value. Here is our last one. We take nine modulus division two. If you remember modulus division, it gets the remainder. So we know two goes into nine four times and the remainder is one. So the answer is one. The modulus gives you the remainder as a whole number. So let's run this. And you can see modulus division with two integers gives you a one and n answer becomes an int. I hope this helped clarify any questions you had about mixing floats and ints and the different operator, mathematical operators.